Hello, my friends. Good morning. May the Holy Spirit enlighten you to understand His Holy Word. We are here still in Galilee. We showed earlier a part of the Galilee because it's cloudy we can see the Sea of Galilee but you can have the sensation of the weather the sensation of this holy land that I'm going to show once again a part of this part of Galilee look Galilee we are here in a hotel working for this Sunday when we are going to stretch out our hands to all those who believe to receive the Holy Spirit from the Cenacle in Jerusalem. We will go to Jerusalem this Sunday, 10 a.m. in the time of Brazil. We will broadcast live the prayer in favor of those who believe those who want those who sought and they are doing the fast of daniel but i would like to pa pass on to you the following the book of acts tells the story of the beginning of the church of the lord jesus and it says here in acts 8 verse 14 that the apostles it says now when the apostles who were at jerusalem heard that samaria do you remember that i said yesterday that samaria is the samaritans they are radically against the jewish they did not go along and that's why when jesus met the samaritan woman she said when jesus asked for the water she said how can you be a jew ask a samaritan woman for water a woman that had nothing to do with the people but the apostles who were in jerusalem they heard they learned that samaria had received the word of god samaria received the word of god and maybe you are a Samaritan. You are a Samaritan who received the word of God. You were Catholic, spiritualist, evangelical, Buddhist, Muslim, Jewish. But you were receiving the word of God. And when a person receives the word of God, they are submissive. They subject themselves to the word of God in a humble way then the holy spirit come upon this person is what happened in that time when they heard the apostles heard that samaria received the word of god they sent peter and john to them who when they had come down prayed for them they prayed Peter and John prayed for the Samaritans that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For as yet hadn't fallen upon none of them. It's very nice. So they were only baptized in the waters in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they, Peter, Peter and John, they laid hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. So they didn't do fast of Daniel. They didn't prepare themselves. They didn't do a fasting. No. They only received the word of God in, in a proper way, in a humble way, in a sincere way, purely, truly. They surrendered to this word. So the Spirit of the Word, which is the Holy Spirit, came upon them when Peter and John laid hands on them. That's it. So, my friends, you don't need to deserve to receive the Holy Spirit. 
but you need to have a heart sincere, a desire that is sincere, a humbleness to say, my God, I'm following my religion, I am faithful to my church, I am faithful, maybe you, you are even from the universal church of the kingdom of God, but you don't have the Holy Spirit yet. Why? Why? I think, I believe, it's a thought I have, I think that it's missing sincerity, it's missing truthfulness, it's missing a surrender, a surrender complete totally to the Holy Spirit. You are with us in the universal church, but your surrender is seeking bread and fish, miracles, solution of problems. You want to solve your problems. First you want to solve your problems and then you surrender your life to Jesus. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. First you have to prioritize the altar. The altar represents God. And from the altar is where comes the Holy Spirit. From the altar we receive the Holy Spirit. So you who wants to be baptized the Holy Spirit, we are doing what we can, but God will only come down, He will only come down upon those who have the same Spirit that these Samaritans, they, they accepted the Word, they obeyed the Word humbly, and they surrender, they lived that faith in the person of the Lord Jesus. There is no point for the person to try to make a way. The Samaritans, they didn't try to make a way to be half Samaritan, half Christian. No, it was either Christian, truly follower of the Lord Jesus, or they were not. And the truth is this, faith demands definition. You have to be defined in your faith. It's either yes or no. You live in sin or you live in holiness. You live to God or you live to hell or to this world or to yourself. You cannot be trying to reconcile the God of this world with the God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel, the Word of God. No, it cannot. That's why the Word of God teaches us the way that we must follow, the way we have to behave. Our, our honor has to be zealed for, our moral, our conduct in relation to other people, above all in relation to God. But when we are, we have a behavior that is blameless before God spiritually, morally, naturally we also have with our neighbor. That's why the verse says, you shall love your God wholeheartedly with all your strength, with all your understanding. And the second commandment, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The way that we, we re have a relationship with God, we also have a relationship with our neighbor. So we are, we become better people, honored, who fulfill our word. The word that we give is obeyed, is practiced. So, my friends, maybe you are a Samaritan, but it doesn't matter. Oh, Bishop, I didn't do the fast of Daniel. I just came now and I didn't know. It doesn't matter. Today you can start. Dive in the Word of God, your mind, your thoughts, your heart, your, your eyes. Focus on the Holy Scriptures, because the Bible will give you the right for you to come Sunday now to receive the Holy Spirit. This is what happened to the Samaritans. Peter and John, they went down to Samaria to pray and bring to people who believed in the Lord Jesus through His Word the Holy Spirit. And when they lay hands, that's it. They receive the Holy Spirit. This is the purpose for this Sunday, 10 a.m., in all the universal church of the kingdom of God. 
and of course obviously we will be recorded and we will repeat that in other times as well this prayer of ministering the laying hands the spiritual laying hands by faith in all those who have believed in the holy scriptures okay god bless you and tomorrow we are going to be back with you we are going just to to show a little bit more to enjoy this land galilee you can see the sea but you can see to, to feel behind those mountains there is the sea there probably tomorrow we will have a better vision god bless you all of you and until tomorrow in jesus name amen Aqui, ó. <laughs>